we are, Road America. Next on the circuit from Sears Point. Long, long track with huge straights and high speeds. 177 miles an hour for super bikes, 157 for the super sport, so a big difference there. So let's go talk to crew chiefs and see what they're doing in terms of a compromise between top speed and drive off the corner. Okay, Peter Doyle, a chat about gearing. So we were at Fini Infineon, which is a shorter gearing track. You don't use very many of the gears that are in the gearbox. You come here and you've got three monstrous straights, plus you've got drafting, so you've got to put in a taller system. Well, that's, that's debatable. The, uh, we've learned a little bit this year. This bike is so different to our last year's bike. We, you know, it, uh, everything we do doesn't work the same, including the gearing. Uh, believe it or not, this is the shortest gearing we've run on this motorbike this year. So we've been to uh, Barber, we've only been to Barber and Infineon, but we only used three gears there, first, second and third. So we've geared it and, and the overall gearing is actually quite a lot taller at those tracks in our case. Here, we, we're gearing it for maximum acceleration, maximum speed. So we've got it as short as we can get it without running out of RPM at the end of the straight. Yes, because if you do run first gear, it's you've got to make it tall enough to make first gear usable. That's right, and you know most of the bikes nowadays, under these regulations, you only have uh, one alternate choice. And uh, at the moment, we don't have one homologator, so we're on standard gearbox, um, same as you run on the street bike. So first gear is quite low. So yeah, you, it's uh, if, you, if you get that, you get the gearing too short overall, then it's so hard to get into those corners. And then. There was some talk that you've got to be careful with the draft too because that'll suck you along faster and then before you know it you hit the draft and then you're on the rev limiter. Yeah, a, a classic is uh, first practice yesterday morning. Uh, you look at uh, some of the lap by laps and there'll be guys who, uh, they go up behind the pace car, they come around and they're about sixth or seventh in the, in the pack and the next lap around they set their fastest speed trap time here at the start finish line by three or four mile an hour. But as soon as they get out of the draft, their bike starts going slower. And uh, yeah, that's, you have to allow, here we allow about a tooth um, up the, in the rear sprocket, uh, one tooth taller for the draft. So that amount, 350 to 400 RPM, you need it. The good thing here is the start finish line's not at the end. So if the start finish line was like Daytona, you bent over and it's close to the end, it, it's actually more important there. All right, well, thank you for all this stuff. Oh, one last question. How long did it take you? I mean, how many experiments with the gearing did it take you to get to where, okay, we like this one? Uh, here this weekend? Yeah. Well, you know, we, we've been around a bit. We know the track. Um, we haven't had this bike here. Um, so we, we uh, sit down and have a look at last year's data with the old bike. We were been this year. And uh, actually, we came here. It's got the same gearing we pulled out of the truck with. So we're, we're a bit lucky. Lucky guess. Thanks, Peter. Okay, thanks.